All right, but yeah, uh, I don't know. I like the trailer. And again, I like pretty much everything in season 14. The only thing I don't like in season 14 is the, uh, the hex plate nocturne being insanely OP and some of the tank items, but I don't know. I like everything. It's chill. Jungle's got a bunch of changes that make it less strong early on, but there's a lot of new fun items. Mages have a lot of fun items. Assassins, everything. We get to see everything, in my opinion, is great about the new season. Cinematic was still weird, though. I still don't... I, 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 will, not, I will die on this hill. Old Man Yas is the most confusing thing to me, but yeah. But I think that the prestigious Kindred skin changes a lot. Probably not, but at the end of the day, I mean, it's just a prestige skin and it's just extra variety. And uh, for me, Porcelain Kindred's my favorite Kindred skin by far, so I'm happy that Porcelain Kindred's getting a prestige skin. So for me, it's a good thing. For a lot of people, it's not because a lot of the people want furry Kindred, but not my problem. I'm happy with it. I'm content with it. I might not play Kindred like I used to as much as I used to, but at the end of the day, I still get to have my favorite skin for the champion get to be prestige. If I had to assume, and again, I don't know because I am not a rioter, so do take everything I'm going to say with a grain of salt. I am not a rioter. I am not on their design team. I don't know what they talk about or how they design things. If I had to assume, it'll probably look something along the lines of co or of uh, Prestige Porcelain Lissandra, I think is a skin. I think she got a Porcelain Prestige skin. I could be wrong. But if I had to imagine, it would look something along those lines. Again, not a rioter. Don't know, though. I see the cinematic. Yes, I saw the cinematic. I know everybody's gonna ask, did I see the cinematic because Kindred was in it? And it's like, yeah, I mean, I still, I, my, my only comments on the whole Kindred thing is, it's when the fuck does Wolf have legs and why is Wolf not purple? That's my only comments on it. I forgot Trin can't die. It's not necessarily that Trin can't die. He's just rage, you know, he's got undying rage, but realistically, at the end of the day, Trin will probably still die from old age and stuff. And you gotta remember, the main thing is Trin or um, Ash and Kindred are kind of connected in the sense that Ash very much believes in Kindred, which is why Ash was in the same scene as Kindred. Like, Ash in game talks about Kindred a lot. Like, it, you'll randomly be walking and Ash will just be like, Praise Kindred, the 200s. Like, why? It shut up. Yet they are never. <laughs> for the TV. Well, okay. See, I get that, Jay, but at the same time, in the Spirit Blossom trailer, when you see Spirit Blossom Wolf, Wolf is also a floating head even in the Spirit Blossom trailer. That's why I'm saying it's weird that in any other time you've ever seen Wolf in any, like, media, merch, anything, Wolf has always been a floating head, even in-game. So it's weird to randomly give him legs in one situation. But never in anything else. Because remember, technically Spirit Blossom Kindred is a lore skin, because remember, Spirit Blossom Kindred is just how, or how Ionians see Kindred, because Kindred's a young girl in Ionian, like, lore and stuff. So Kindred, like, Spirit Blossom Kindred is technically a lore skin, so it's weird that in one situation he has legs, in the other he doesn't. It's weird seeing Wolf be an actual wolf and not a floating spectral head. something to do with our i mean what well, like uh like elena said earlier it's probably just because past present and future for the trailer is probably what they were trying to portray it's just a very weird way to portray it in my opinion it was a cool trailer by all means i like seeing aatrox fight things but i still wish aatrox and pantheon were fighting or a tr what, what is the name his name is atreus right like the actual pantheon character i will chase it until it's dead i will say this though it's kind of boring seeing... Oh, wait, am I going to get any help? I'm just face tanking an Aatrox. It's kind of boring seeing Trin with an Undying Rage in trailer again. And I say this not because, oh my god, I hate Trin, this, that, I blah, blah, blah. But because there was already a trailer in the past with Trin having the whole I can't die, although I guess it was Demon Blade Trin, but it's kind of boring seeing the same champions when there's 160 plus champions, you know? I'm going to go uh, Lethal or Collector first, because Collector first feels good. Again, since I, this might end up on YouTube, I don't know, because obviously I'm going to record a shit ton of games with different items. Things that people need to know about the new season. Lethality is not Lethality anymore. Lethality is back to Season 6 Armor Pen. What the, it's still called Lethality, but it's not actual Lethality. What does that mean? If you didn't know, Lethality did not give you one Armor Pen per one Lethality early game. What it did is it gave you it gave you armor pen that scaled based on your level starting at point six and it scaled up. 
doesn't work like that anymore. Lethality is now back to just flat lethality. It mean what that means is that means one lethality is one armor pen at every point in the game. So me having ten lethality from the Dirk plus my sudden impact giving me nine lethality right now at level four I have nineteen flat armor pen. That is one thing that makes Collector even better. Yes, Collector lost two lethality on it. What did Collector gain? Collector lost two lethality, but it gained five AD, so it's now at 60 AD. But you also actually gained lethality early game, even though it lost two lethality overall, because your lethality is not scaling. Thoughts on the new map for ganking? It's good. It's very good. It makes ganking slightly harder, which makes jungle have a little bit less pressure and influence on the game, because jungle is overpowered, whether people want to admit it or not. Jungle can influence the game way too easily for not having to constantly interact with somebody. So as much as people hate the fact that jungle gets nerfed, jungle needed to be nerfed because of the amount of influence it can have on the game. I know people hate it, but realistically, the amount of influence one role can have is way too... Support and jungle have way too much influence on the game compared to other roles for when they're roles that don't have to like interact with enemy players as often or the same way. People hate it, but it's the honest truth. It's a good change. The only thing I don't like about the change for jungle in the map changes, and th this is just simply for me specifically, is I don't like the fact that they made bot lane so much easier to gank, but they made the other lanes harder to gank because it's like bot lane already feels like ass with the perma four man, and it's like they're encouraging the perma four man even more. And I'm sorry, but that just feels like ass to say, hey, this one lane is the lane that should get fucked, and if you don't like it, oh well, sucks to be you, don't queue for bot lane then. It, it, it kind of feels like ass. I'm gonna be real. Kind of, kind of chitty. Am I jealous that Wolf has more legs than me, bro? Bro, all I'm saying is like, imagine having legs. How long will we be together? Forevermore. Mages go bot. Unfortunately, stuff like, I mean, mages can be played bot lane already, let's be real here, but ADCs won't go mid most likely, and like the duo lane will never swap simply because I'm fairly confident the bot lane turret is still squishier than all the other turrets, so that's why the duo always stays bot side, is because you want the duo to be able to want, like take the turret the fastest if possible. Because in the past, there used to be lane swap. I, I don't know how new people are. In the past, the pro play used to be a lane swap meta where um one bot lane would go top and one bot lane would go bot and they would just take the first blood turret and not let the top laners really interact with the game. And Riot was like, nah, fuck that shit. That shit's boring. So they made the bot lane turret squishier than all the rest of the turrets to force the duo to always go bot lane. Or else you would always lose first blood turret. And first blood turret's obviously worth much more gold than other turret. I like this Katarina. She roams through my uh, all of my objectives without me having to spam ping her. She's actually really useful. You wonder if ADC mid or I mean some of solo ADCs mid already work like one thing that a lot of people don't like I'm a Jin player you guys already obviously know that Jin mid's actually really good the issue of why a lot of people won't play it though is it's hard to get into a game because your teammates will dodge because people think that Jin can't solo lane but Jin's actually a really really good solo laner for example people are like before the um, season ended people were already playing like Varus top lane you know Draven top lane stuff like that Vayne top lane like, a lot of ADCs are actually not bad solo laners. The main thing is getting into a game without your teammates perma-dodging. That's the hard part about it. I was new. Kindred's still stupidly strong. Kindred has more build variety now than they did before, and they're still insanely fucking strong. The champion is really good. It's not S-tier, because S-tier right now is like Ivern, Nocturne, and stuff. Especially Nocturne. Again, if you're going to play jungle ban Nocturne, please. Please don't let Nocturne in your game. Don't do this to yourself. Please make sure that champion is banned. Hexplay Nocturne is not fair in the fucking slightest. Please ban the champion. Save yourself. But, um... Yeah. 
a lot of ADCs are actually decent soloers, but the thing is, is, people think that because they are an ADC, you have to go bot lane, so it's really hard to get into games with them. Hexplate viable. I did Hexplate for a game earlier on a Bruiser Kinder, or not earlier, but like a month ago on PBE for a Bruiser Kinder build, and it worked really, really well. So I'll try it again later, probably. But uh, I did um I did Kraken into Sundered Skies into Hexplate, and I was pretty much an unstoppable force, and there was nothing the enemy team could do about me. Also, thing, 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 thing that I just thought of. Um, hey, after three years, or two years, no, three years, yeah. Um, Kraken Slayer works with Rageblade now, again. So you got if you really want to build Rageblade for whatever reason, you guys can build Rageblade and Kraken now. Now it works. Really? Yes, they, they made it with the update that uh, Kraken Slayer and Rageblade are now compatible with each other. I just killed myself. Alright, that was on me. I killed myself. I can actually kill Kane here if I can get away for five seconds and their bot lane doesn't run to me. Ah, oh, damn it, their bot lane's here. Never mind, no killing Kane. I take it back, I killed Kane still. Run the fuck away! Give me the W. -hoo. No, he had enough mana for a combo. Damn. I almost could have outplayed that. Other things to note. If you are going to do lethality item builds or anything, is on hit again? On hit is still insanely good, yes. Um, but uh, if you are going to do lethality on any champion, things to note. Serrated Dick is not the only item that gives lethality anymore. It's also 100 gold cheaper. It's not 1100 gold anymore. Now it's 1000 gold. So it's cheaper to build Serrated Dick. It also is not the only item that gives lethality anymore. Now, some items build out of Brutalizer, which Brutalizer also gives lethality. Which, uh, I can't see Brutal... I'll, I'll show you Brutalizer in a second. But, uh, yeah. If you go into the Assassin tab and you go to, like, Axiom, this thing builds out of lethality. Or gives lethality now. So Serrated Dick is not the only lethality item in the game anymore. Uh, what, what else is notable changes? Uh, let's see, like I said, Rageblade works with Kraken now. Bork got hard nerfed for whatever reason because Riot hates Bork on, I guess, I don't really know why they hard nerfed the shit out of Bork. Bork's still 3,300 gold, but Bork doesn't, it doesn't steal movement speed anymore. It just slows, and it doesn't do a burst of damage when the slow goes off anymore. It just slows. So, yeah. Brutalizer builds into uh, Brutalizer builds into most um into lethality items, not bruiser items. They go. Like Brutalizer builds into like Axiom and stuff. Also, uh, Grudge is not a bruiser item. Grudge is a lethality item now. Its armor pen scales based on your lethality, and it builds out of lethality. And the slow only activates when you're below um when you're below thirty percent or fifty percent HP. Let's see. Other notable thing for jungle that, since I can talk about this while I'm doing it. Obviously, Rift Herald looks different. Another thing about Rift Herald is uh, Rift Herald now activates Baron's Gaze. It's called Herald's Gaze, but it's it's Baron's Gaze. What that means is uh, the person who is tanking Rift Herald does 50% less damage to Herald like you do to Baron. What new Kindred build? It is way too early to try to find a new Kindred build. There, dude, the season just came out. You're going to have to wait like a week till people find an actual meta stuff. But yeah, um... So Rift Herald now takes 50% less damage from the person who is hitting it, just like Baron does. Uh, you can ride Herald like it's the sled from like... What is the game mode called? Uh, Nexus Blitz and things. There's a, there's a lot of changes. A lot of them. I'm trying to think of all the jungle changes for people who haven't played jungle or kept up with anything, just so you guys can at least have some knowledge of it, because obviously I'm not going to be able to like, speak everything into existence. Oh, you don't say. Be careful. I didn't think about being careful there. Next thing you're gonna tell me is that he might kill me. I never would have guessed. Here you go. You can. Uh, we're, we're, we're gonna take this. I'm gonna ride Shelly. Wow, that. Okay, when when it's me because of the really sus shit that I say, saying I'm gonna ride Shelly can be taken in so many wrong contexts. Wait, I killed him with the Shelly charge. What? <laughs> I killed him with the fucking Shelly charge. <laughs> no shot. Try. I will do a lot of different builds, I promise you. Pretty much everything I will do for builds.
Like, I promise you, I will be doing all different kinds of builds. You don't have to worry about it because I might not be a kindred addict like I used to be, but I still am going to farm the living fuck out of kindred content for YouTube. I, so I promise you. Did he build Sundered Sky? He did. Huh. Also, though, the patch notes were really badly done. I don't know who wrote the patch notes. Because um, in the patch notes, whoever wrote them, they wrote that Infinity Edge gave you 45% crit chance. And I'm just sitting here like, in what universe is Infinity Edge giving me 45% crit chance? Because if that was an actual thing, holy fuck, I'd buy Infinity Edge all the time. I am so beyond dead. I am I am so beyond dead. Team save me! I'm not dead, they can't catch me. I got dragon though. Okay, I might be dead. Whoa, right, woo, woo, save me. You're amazing, woo. Why am I standing on this burn? Oh, Dev, you thought you thought the Aatrox could kill me? Are you sure? What gave you that idea, Dev? Was it the fact that he almost killed me? Your turret has been destroyed. An enemy has been slain. Yeah, I love the new season so far. From playing it on PBE a bunch and then just playing it in game and just like I think it's one of the reasons why so many people are like so toxic in League too, is because League is a game that had no actual real changes for like seven plus years. Because Elemental Drakes came out in Season 6, Plants came out in Season 7, the only actual changes you could be like, well, they added two new dragons, or they added mythic items, and half the mythic items are items that already existed. But the maps themselves were the exact same. They added alcoves, I guess, if you want to count that as a map change, but let's be real here, nobody gives a fuck about alcoves. So, like, the game has been the exact same for, like, seven plus years, and it's like, it felt so fucking stale. Chase to your heart's content. Like, there was no real new content to League for a long time, unless you count skins and items, but it's like, that's not really changing the game. It's just like, oh yeah, this person's gonna build this item, or the meta might slightly change. But the game itself, the map and everything, was so figured out and everything. The only difference is that they would change golden XP on, like, jungle camps and, like, lane minion movement speed and golden XP, and it's, but the game itself was still, like, the same. You know? Get shit on by that. Oh my. You just got absolutely fucking dumpstered. Holy. But like right now, League essentially feels almost like a League of Legends 2 with a whole different map, items being so vastly different, you know? Like the game feels like a completely different game, which is what makes it feel so satisfying. Because again, so many people are just bored of the game. Thank you for the ball. You gonna be okay, friend? I hope you're okay. Oh god. No. You were not ulting me. So... Is it... Okay, so this is a Dragonborn buff. So, if I wait until Baron spawns, does it become a Voidborn? Is it, or does it only get Voidborn if it spawns after Baron? I guess we find out because Baron just spawned. Did everybody get it? Okay, so it becomes a Voidborn buff if you get it after Baron spawns. Okay, that's all I needed to know. If you don't know, Dragonborn buffs drop one duplication. Voidborn drops or gives your entire team the buff. Shot of my leggings so far. I don't know. There's so many different things. I mean, the collector is insanely strong. Like straight up, collector is probably one of the strongest items on Kindred again. Which to be fair, Kindred's are always, always been really good. The collector, just lethality, crit, fucking high AD, good build path. It's always been good on Kindred, but collector is insanely strong. 
especially with the lethality changes. Those who dread us grant us the most power. Do not build crit every game. I'm going to say this now because I know somebody can be like, but you build crit. Crit is still shit. On hit is still better. I promise you that. I'm just doing it because I wanted to do a collector build because collector is insanely strong. I smell Terminus is a fucking insane item. Terminus is like the Thanos of items right now, especially for on hit champions. 30% magic pen, armor pen, fucking getting like 30 MR and magic or er, and armor, getting on hit magic damage, getting AD, getting attack speed from one item. Yeah, that item's like fucking Thanos. Terminus is fucking insane. And unlike Con or unlike uh, the, 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 the Cleaver, you you don't have to stack it against each person. You stack it once in a fight like Conqueror, and then you just have it stacked for the rest of the fight. I still genuinely think that cover of High Hopes is better than the actual High Hopes song, and I know people are going to hate me for that, but I genuinely think it's so much better than the original. Although, to be fair... Oh, I just like somebody walking that, dude. To be fair, I genuinely think just in general that uh, Our Last Night makes insanely good covers. cost for that was dead. Infinity Edge is 100 gold cheaper. Oh. I was going to say, the combined uh, cost of that was different. It was 100 gold cheaper than it was. Because normally it's 1225. That was 11.25. I kind of wish they would buff Infinity Edge back up to what it used to be, though. And just, you know. Wait. Okay, you can only... Uh, oh, they made it so you can't buy both of them. Sad. I was going to buy both of them for a gin build for fun. Sad. Alright, that works, though. So first game of the uh, ranked season, we take it. I can't do my fun gin build with Navorian IE, though. Alright. We, the first game, we take it 9 and 2 uh, right on the next. I guess people on YouTube should like and comment, blah, 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 placements, bullshit. I don't know. First game, Kirk Kindred. Whee.